Those are just so cute and perfect. What's what? Yeah. It's to stop the door from banging into the wall. What are you doing? boots because I want to check out the um, Fenty new um, makeup and I've just come into Morphe they've got a Morphe in boots now and I've got all of the brushes and all of the makeup I've never tried Morphe uh, makeup before um, I've got the recent Pony palette but I haven't tried it yet but yeah there's a lot of brushes and palettes these are the um, new eyeshadows from Fenty and I really wanted to check it out because I've seen a lot of people use them but I've never like um, seen it in person but they're so cute I think they're like a perfect everyday size I feel like a lot of palettes are massive now but these ones are just so cute and perfect for like everyday handbag use and they've got some really nice colours so they've got warms, so they've got the cools, um, colours I think this one is my favourite. Let's have a little swatch. Hmm. This is a quality announcement. Can only please come to reception? So let's do swatches. I'm not really sure. It seems a little bit chalky. That is actually quite cute. This is not for babies, Ed, and you are a baby. Is it too short for you? Yeah. I think you need a longer one then. Yeah, you knew it. Go and then choose a longer one on the back. Yeah. Or oh, do you want the red one? No? There's other red clothes there then. You want what, sorry? You want big people clothes? You're not that big, Aiden. Do you think this one's okay? Yeah. I think they actually forgot to make our drink because it took like 20 minutes. I've never waited 20 minutes for a drink before. Is that good? Yeah? Good morning guys. Today I'm off to Central because I have an appointment with Dyson and basically it's an appointment to talk about the hair wrap which I have never tried before. I've seen so many people use it but I've never, you know, like tried it in person so I'm gonna go try it on um, Oxford Street in the I think it's like a flagship store but I have the most painful period pain um, yeah it's just been really bad my period pains have been really bad after I had Aiden my period pains were non-existent my pills were really light and I was like woohoo so this is like the perks of having a baby but for the past six months my pears have come back and well not come back like come back the pain has come back I've always had periods right um, the pains come back and it's just really really painful and I like when I was younger I used to miss uni and school because it was that painful and um, it's like come back like even harder um, I've just had to um, pop some Nurofen before I left the house because um, I knew that I'd be on the train and I'm going to be like out walking about so I just had to pop some Nurofen if I was at home then I would just get crawl into bed and then just sleep it off but because I'm out and about I you know I just had to have some Nurofen so yeah I'm just about to leave um, got my hand gel because you know I like bacteria everywhere in London and I'm not gonna lie I am terrified of the coronavirus um, I'm also terrified of all the racism as well that's been going on um, me and Aidan actually came across racism when we was out in a shopping centre but I'll talk about that when I get home um, but yeah let's get going because I don't want to be late
selfridges and they have so many like glasses like actual glasses frames i've never seen so many before and a lot of them look really nice i really want some ray bangies and mine actually due for replacement and like they're really old so i might have a look and see what i fancy maybe something like these very similar to my chanel ones Selfridges and they have this massive section of travel essentials. There's literally everything that you would ever need in travel size so eyeshadow, skincare, um, makeup, there's a lot of MAC, it cosmetics, even like mini NARS. These are so cute in a mini Bobby Brown, um, mini Too Faced, Charlotte Tilbury, um, yeah, a lot. And they have a lot of skincare here and then they also have like hair stuff so all of these little mini hair things so cute hair blow dried with the Dyson air wrap and yeah look at my hair it's so much volume really really bouncy I've just got home definitely need to um, do a big tidy everything is a complete mess <laughs> have clothes everywhere and then out here I have all of this mess to sort through as well so yeah I'm just gonna like chill and do like a big tidy I have laundry to do as well do you want a treat? Um, she likes these ones sit down stay down down coffee down good girl down good girl no 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 okay good girl <laughs> i had a blow dry with dyson um in the hair salon on oxford street and look what they've given me oh my gosh it's the complete air wrap kit i'm definitely gonna be practicing with this tomorrow after i've washed my hair so because there is the coronavirus going around and it's now in london i've just been out to buy several um antibacterial hand gels and never ever use these like normally i just like don't bother buying them or using them i just use like a wet wipe but i think i need to start getting into the habit of using these especially when i'm out with aiden as well um like just even when like you don't have um the means to wash your hands and there's no toilets around and then um you keep like touching things like opening doors or whatever then i think these are essential now especially since there's so much um, bacteria and germs going around so i just picked up a few i got these for my handbag so these are the little ones and these are going to last me a little while i know that um, a lot of shops are low on stock so i thought i'd like get a few whilst i can then this big one is for at home um, even though we wash our hands a lot at home um, so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be needing this to be honest um, but I thought it'd be good to have a big bottle anyways and then I also got some Dettol surface wipes um, disinfectant spray for when we come home and we can spray on our jackets 
and then just a surface cleaner but this one is not new this one is like um that i've just found underneath my sink in the kind of like um tidying not tidying like all of my kind of like cleaning stuff and um, it was right at the back so i'm gonna get this out and start using it again so yeah that's just my little prevention better than cure kind of like little haul thing good morning guys so i've just kind of like woken up it's a sunday it's um there's like storm dennis outside so it's a bit rough outside um yeah i just wanted to turn the camera on and have a little chit chat with you guys and just be honest about how i've been feeling why there wasn't no videos um this week gone and normally i upload on a monday and a thursday but you guys may have noticed that i didn't upload on both dates um and i just want to sit down and have a chat with you guys basically definitely not here to moan i don't like moaning in general and um, people who moan i yeah i just i don't like to moan but i like to be honest and um, to be honest um this week has just been a little bit hard for me because first of all i started my period right at the beginning of the week and i'm not sure if you saw in my last footage about me going to an event um on wednesday um basically um for the past maybe like half a year or six months my period pains have just been getting really really bad like growing up my period pains were awful like i would literally be in bed for like two to three days and the only thing that would help was new event the liquid ones the ones that are like express capsules <laughs> and i would just be constantly on neurofen and then after i had aiden my periods came back and it didn't hurt at all and my periods my periods were really light um but for the past six months for some reason they've just been really really heavy and i feel like they hurt even more than before i had aiden when i had my regular periods and yeah so that got me down and i was just like just so much that i wanted to do i had so many things planned and i just ended up staying in bed like i think for me one of the things that i have to realize and admit to myself is that when i'm feeling shit then i should just take the day off because um i hardly ever like have days to myself or even just like a day off um, I'm constantly on the go and I think that because I'm constantly busy and I'm constantly on the go I kind of brush my problems to a side and pretend that they're not there when actually um, I think this week was just like full blown my mental health was, was just shit and yeah and yeah I don't know what I'm talking about now like this is I can't focus like when I'm feeling shit I just can't seem to focus and all i want to do is crawl back into bed and stay in bed sometimes aiden is the only thing or the only person that i'm willing to get out of bed for because i know that i have to look after him and feed him and take him here and there and do this and that play with him and whatnot and whenever he's around i'm generally happier um but when he's not here like there's something that just takes over me and if I'm not busy, if I'm not going to work or if I'm not meeting friends for dinner or anything then I just feel like I just want to stay in bed there's no point in me getting up out of bed if I've got nothing planned and I'm just trying to shake that feeling because that's how I've been feeling for the past two days and yeah so first of all my poo pins and then I didn't get anything done and then I was kicking myself for not getting things done and I just felt shit and then things just happened over the weekend and it made me feel even shitter and i feel like normally when i feel shit Aiden's around me so my mood is just like lifted and i'm just like oh whatever kind of just like get on with it but because um Aiden's not here on the weekends and then shit happens on the weekends i'm just like oh like i'm just by myself and i don't know maybe maybe there needs to be like some sort of change in my life um who knows but 
yeah so basically i'm just getting ready and i just wanted to give an explanation as why my videos and my content is a little bit slow recently i don't want to just like come on to camera and be like all happy and pretend that nothing's there because that's what i've been doing for the past uh, few years and i feel like part of the problem is myself i think growing up i was always left to deal with everything on my own like all my problems all my worries i just dealt with them on my own so i'm just used to not opening up to people like i have amazing friends and they help me a lot but i don't know i guess i just need to get out of the habit of keeping things inside i'm the type of person who will just brush it off and be quiet and then when it all gets too much i will literally just have a breakdown which is kind of what i feel like i had this weekend like today i was meant to meet my friends for lunch we've been organizing this for a long time and then everybody was meant to come and chill afterwards at mine and last night i was just like do you know what i don't have the energy i don't have the energy to even leave my apartment or go out so i like text them to cancel it and my friends are really understanding and they're just like fine that's fine like we'll meet up next time don't worry about it because i never i i hate well hate is a strong word but i don't like flaky people people who flake on you like the last minute or the day before i find that just really annoying because obviously this person's made time for you and if you flake on them you're just like wasting their time so i felt really bad and they were actually understanding and it's like i never ever flake on them and this is the first time that i just said to myself i need to be honest with myself i don't have the energy to go out and pretend that i'm okay and happy i'm like emotionally and mentally drained so i just need to stay at home so they're fine with that but then now actually last night after everything like i just woke up and i just felt like you know what i'm not gonna waste my day feeling sad like i had a shower and i was just like do you know what i text my friends and i was like i'm not gonna go out because i don't have the energy to go out um but come round to mine still and we can like cook lunch or whatever and i just don't want to waste another day feeling shit but then i guess it's all down to me like to get myself out of these kind of shitty moods um so yeah so my friends are coming around and i'm just putting on a little bit of makeup um i feel like even though i'm not going out i should at least make an effort i feel like putting on makeup and having friends around is always a good thing like it always lifts my mood and then aiden's coming home tonight so i'll instantly be happier so i'm just using the fenty beauty um if you saw on instagram then i posted on my stories that i've switched to 145 i used to wear um 210 which is a similar color but it's a little bit more pink and 145 is more yellow it's a little bit lighter but like the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation oxidizes quite a bit actually um, so even though it goes on like it's I, think, I actually think it's quite a good match for my skin right now um, but after an hour so it will go slightly darker as well so uh, yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on just to make myself feel a little bit better and more presentable and um yeah now my friends are gonna be here so if any of you guys ever feel the same way that i just described let me know let me know down below in the comments because i do get a lot of messages asking about life advice breakup advice people who are married with kids and they're thinking of separating advice what should they do and that. but i don't like to um give advice to a situation that i'm not involved in because i don't really know the whole story um but in a way i do want my videos to help some of you guys if you're going through like f similar things that i have gone through 
like I do want to open up and help you guys and maybe even just watching one of my vlogs or videos you might have a clearer mind or you might feel better even if it's just for like five or ten minutes um yeah because I want this channel to be helpful I know it's very materialistic and artificial like makeup fashion beauty shopping kind of stuff but I do want to touch on subjects that um, are very close to my heart and hopefully will help you guys as well um, but I'm definitely not a preachy preachy type that's why I find it hard to talk about stuff like this um, but going forward I just want to be honest so I've just done my makeup and I need to sort this mop I'm just gonna keep it tied up um, but yeah uh, thanks for watching this video guys I hope it was I don't know can't think right now <laughs> um, yeah so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one Julie said buy two coffee oh look there's an airplane can you see that airplane coffee?